Previously, we discussed the topic of extractables and leachables, ENL, and the need to perform ENL analysis when seeking regulatory approval for new drugs. In this video, we'll discuss some of the challenges you might face when performing ENL analysis and share solutions for overcoming them. The first challenge of ENL analysis is being able to confidently identify unknowns. High resolution mass spectrometers, such as the GC Orbitrap Explorus, LC Orbitrap Explorus, and Orbitrap IQX, combined with robust and stable chromatography, ensure confidence in identification based on their accurate mass measurements, high resolution, and high quality fragmentation data. By matching this rich data to MZ Cloud high resolution accurate mass Orbitrap spectral libraries, you can quickly and confidently identify unknowns and provide structural assignments based on accurate mass determination. Moreover, having MS2 data and or positive-negative switching in a single analytical run can assist with compound annotation. Additionally, the Orbitrap IQX has MS to the N capabilities and can utilize alternative fragmentation techniques, allowing an even deeper dive into the molecular fragmentation pathways. Powerful software algorithms also allow an automated deep dive into the extractable profile, termed Acquire X. These processes are in turn aided by powerful data analysis software, such as Compound Discoverer, which automates the compound detection and annotation process. A second challenge is the range of compounds that must be detected and quantified at trace levels. Many factors affect the level of sensitivity that can be achieved. By combining integrated extraction and concentration sample preparation, such as with accelerated solvent extraction, with highly efficient chromatography systems and columns, along with sensitive detection techniques such as mass spectrometry, charged aerosol detection, CAD, and diode array detector, DAD, you can be confident extractables will be found where they're present. In addition, the use of triple quadrupole instruments such as the GC TSQ9610, LC Qantas Plus, and ICP ICAP, TQE ICPMS can be used. Quantification of the detected extractables and leachables is the third challenge. ENL testing requires monitoring for unspecified, unknown compounds. An estimated concentration for these unspecified compounds needs to be generated, which is typically accomplished using surrogate standards. Since the surrogate standard will not have the same response factor as the unspecified compound, there's an uncertainty to the accuracy of the amount calculation. Thus, the result is considered semi-quantitative and the level of estimation, or uncertainty, is addressed by use of the uncertainty factor and its application to the reporting thresholds. The variability in response factors is typically very high for liquid chromatography mass spectrometry, LCMS, and moderately high for DAD detectors, which is used for the analysis of semi-volatiles to non-volatiles. Gas chromatography mass spectrometry, GCMS, used for volatile to semi-volatile analysis typically shows lower response variability than LCMS. The variability stems from the fact that compounds have different ionization efficiencies, or in the case of DAD, extinction coefficients. To account for this variability, an uncertainty factor is typically used when establishing analytical evaluation thresholds, AETs. The reliance on large uncertainty factors can be reduced by incorporating a multi-detector approach with more universal mass proportional detectors such as flame ionization detection in GC. For LC analysis, a DAD detector provides more linear response for quantitation than MS for untargeted analysis. However, not all ENL compounds have UV chromophore and therefore are not detectable with these detectors. CAD is an alternative universal detector for quantitation of compounds with no UV chromophore. When used with the Vanquish Duo UHPLC system for inverse gradient, a mass proportional response is achieved using CAD, resulting in much lower uncertainty factors. An LC system coupled with DAD, CAD, and MS detectors will suit this purpose for semi-volatile to non-volatile compound analysis. Finally, it's challenging to increase sample throughput while reducing manual errors and sources of contamination. This can be addressed using automated solvent extraction, such as the ASE350 or Extriva. AcquireX software also speeds up method development by automating procedural blank exclusion lists to be set up when using the Orbitrap Explorus 120, 
240, or Tribid or Betrap MS, such as the IQX. Selecting the right MS certified consumables helps to generate high quality data free of artifact contaminants. Thermoscientific offers a variety of tools that provide operational simplicity through hands free operation and increased throughput capability to provide the right solution for ENL analysis. See how Thermo Scientific makes ENL analysis easier at thermofisher.com slash extractables and leachables. PPD, part of Thermo Fisher Scientific, is a leader in supporting ENL consulting, study design, and testing for the pharmaceutical industry, and can help design and conduct studies that support your product submission needs.